As COVID-19 is sweeping the world, it has seriously threatened people's health, affected production and life in various countries. In a post-pandemic area, we begin to think about the possibility of urban resilience for the sustainable development of cities. For a long time in the past, people were accustomed to think that the Red Hook community was isolated. The construction of Brooklyn Queens Highway caused economic backwardness, inadequate infrastructure, and environmental damage. However, the BQE only separates the Red Hook from the geographic level. If area has a good infrastructure, systematic transportation planning, and rational use of abandoned factory left over from history, offers potential for flexible, sustainable living. Such comprehensive urban connectivity will break the geographic barrier of BQE and turn the separation of Red Hook into an advantage, thereby attracting more people to Red Hook. We believe that this connectivity is a relationship between Red Hook, Brooklyn, and surrounding land that faces East River and New York Harbor. We are proposing a new isolation mode. We call it post-pandemic quick response ground. It starts from a multiple perspective, such as historical land formation, local industrial characteristic, and current residential condition. We seek a new urban mode to deal with public health emergency that may occur in the future. Another feature of this model is that it can transform into isolation when a public health emergency happens. Designing a pandemic response city can not only help New York City dealing with possible disaster in the future, it can also help Red Hook create a contact with their surroundings. Our overall design is a transition from water to marshland to low-rise and high-rise building with different functions. To be more specific, we maintain existing urban structure and then create blocks based on design. We see each block as a small community, then we design a series of possible transformation by that. For example, if the current building is a factory, a mixed-use building of two to three stories high is designed. Two of the block diagonals are pulled up and the rooftop form a new ground, which increasing the open space area. If a current building is a residence, it is the same as the factory design method. The height is of between 10 to 15 floors. This design aims to systemize the urban fabric and building type, increase the office area, business area, and the residential area. Next, we will introduce design idea of different connection. Connection A, from ground to void space. This is a space connect to the building from the current street level. We use the pattern formed naturally in the material study to design the program and create many possible potential spaces. This enriches the functionality of the entire blocks and makes the program more complex and systematic. Then we use this potential void space to provide more access. Such comprehensive and systematic program design will play a role in the rapid response in the pandemic. Connection B, rooftop circulation. Since shoreline will be right in the future, there will be insufficient public space in the city. This circulation mainly used the new ground as we designed to increase space utilization. In response to the pandemic, open space design has played an important role. We imagine when there's no pandemic in the future, this is a place for people to go out. Let people feel like they are in the garden in the city. However, during the pandemic, it can also be used as a public emergency place, such as public health zone. At the same time, this rooftop is linked to connection A. Connection C, 2100 pathway. This is our bold imagination to design more connection in the air. The purpose of this is to provide more connection and release the traffic pressure at the bottom level. Let people participate in the experience brought out the high level public space, which can be a new urban fabric in the future. 
Moreover, this is a cross-section perspective drawing. From left to right are shoreline, marshland, low-rise building, high-rise building, and inland. This showed the evolution of serious transition. Regarding the expression of geology, we choose the abstract form expression. These patterns are driven from our previous material study. The white building in picture is our current building. The cement texture is a building with mixed use that we design according to different building types.